Tanushree. I am a research scholar here at IIT Guwahati and today I am going to be presenting a demonstration of our electrospinning device here at the Center for Nanotechnology. So this is the device and uh, it's been acquired from eSpin Nanotech. It's a startup based at I out of IIT Kanpur. Now let me show you the various internal components of the device. These two here are two syringe pumps. Okay. And uh, this is here a collector where the sample will be deposited during the electrospinning process. This is a uh, power cable connected to a high voltage power source which is inside here. That power source is controlled by this panel over here. Now it is important to remember that uh, during electrospinning the kind of samples that we are going to be depositing. I have here as the purposes of our demo, I have here a polymer solution containing 7.5% uh, of polyvinyl alcohol dissolved in water. Now I have loaded some of this sample in this syringe here and I am going to be loading this syringe on one of these syringe pumps. Okay. Now this is the software interface of the device. We can control various parameters of the operation using this. I will show it to you. First I am going to load this. Uh, syringe with the sample on one of these syringe pumps. Now this part here is the acts as the piston of the syringe pump and it will push the piston of the syringe forward or backward. Now I am going to use the software to, now this is, this one is pump 1 and this one is pump 2. The interface here, if you will see there is pump 1 written over here and pump 2. So I will use the pump 1 interface to control the movement of this piston. First I am going to push it forward little bit see we can see the screw moving so this piston is moving forward Now let us load the syringe. I am just going to remove the screw over here at the top. Now I am removing the cap and I am going to put this part of the piston at this here, at this gap here. So the piston can push it. Now I am just going to screw this back. I am going to use this cover here to ensure that none of the sample drops onto the, the floor of this machine. So this will ensure that the syringe stays fixed. Now I am going to push the piston again. Now this part will be affixed to this part over here. I am going to press forward again. Now this part is being affixed to this stoppage right over here. So as the piston keeps moving, it will slowly start to pump the solution out of the syringe. This part is affixed with this piston over here. We can connect this syringe needle with this high voltage power source. Okay. 
Now, it's important to remember that this high voltage power source, I mean the high voltage that we are going to apply is a very important parameter for the electro spinning process. Now, the sample that will be released from the needle will be collected over here. This, this collector here is grounded. Okay. Now, another important fact parameter is the distance between the syringe needle and the collector. This can be controlled with this. I am going to press reverse, so it will go backwards. This is about the maximum distance that we can keep between the collector and the syringe needle. If we want to decrease it, we can, we just have to press forward and it will go forward again. The maximum distance between the syringe uh, needle and the collector is approximately 15 centimeters. So uh, of course, it will depend on how much distance you want to keep. Now, as I was saying, another important parameter is the high voltage that we will apply between the syringe needle and the collector. Now, uh, this power source inside, it has a maximum power it, uh, uh, capacity of 80 kilo volts, but uh, it is advisable to keep the voltage at um, below 30 kilo volts. Of course, that will depend on the sample that we are going to spin. Right. One more important parameter is the flow rate of the solution that we are going to pump through the uh, syringe needle. So I am going to keep the flow rate at let us say 5 microliter per minute and the volume I want to spin a volume of let us say 1 milliliter. So and the diameter of this syringe body is 9 millimeters. So, I am going to just put that here also and press run. So, it will take approximately 12,000 seconds to spin or release uh, 1 ml of this solution at a flow rate of 5 microliter per minute. Now, I have not applied the high voltage yet, but that uh, I will get to that. So, I will just stop this for a minute. Now, uh, as you can see here, this collector is a rotating drum. We have another uh, collector kind here. This is a plate collector and it can be attached over here like this, okay, like this. Now this is a stationary collector and you can bend it however you want, but yeah, it won't rotate. So this fibers will just uh, deposit on the surface like this in loop like structures. The advantage of the rotating drum collector is that when the fiber deposits on this, it will just move backwards and you can get more aligned straight fibers. Now the uh, rotating speed of the drum collector can be adjusted at the uh, through the software interface. Here you can see collector RPM. So I am going to just press it on and I am going to give set it at a value of let us say 700 or 750 like that, 800. It all depends on your, I mean, requirements, right? Okay. Now these are also some uh, secondary parameters: the ambient condition, such as chamber temperature and humidity. Now uh, you can adjust the temperature of the inside chamber by connecting a heater to this uh, plug point here, or a dehumidifier, whichever you want. Right. So my collector is spinning and my sample is ready to be deposited. I just have to now turn on the high voltage power source. Right. So f very importantly, I first need to close the chamber door before I turn this on. Since we are going to be using very high voltage, so it is important to maintain the safety precautions. Right. So right now at this software interface, it is showing HV off. So I'm just going to turn it on now. I'm going to show, turn it off again and show you what happens. Now, since the HV is off, this switch won't work. Okay, nothing is showing here. But I'm now that I've turned HV on, the power comes on. Okay. So the it's kilovolts. It's it's at 0.1 kilovolts. Okay. So I'm going to start slowly increasing, very slowly. 
my desired value is reached. We're going. Uh, you sh typically we keep the value of this below 30 kilo volts. But again, that will depend on the sample requirements. So I'm just going to keep it at 12.5 for the purposes of this demo. No more is needed. Okay. So my rotator is spinning. My sample is flowing. Okay. I've set all these flow rate parameters, volume, diameter, rotator speed, voltage, and distance also. So these are the most important parameters for electro spinning. And if we follow this, it will give us polymer nanofibers within the diameter range of less than one micron. Okay. Now typically this process takes a very long time depending on the thickness of the deposition. But so I have some samples here, I will show them to you. Okay, so this is an old sample that I have electrospun. As you can see, this is an aluminum foil, and the whitish la layer on this substrate is the deposited fibers. If you can see, it, take a good, good, better look. Okay. Now, of course, we won't be able to see the fibers or its dimensions with our naked eye. So we have some sample images here, which were taken under FSM micro. So here we go. Yeah. So these are some of the sample images that we have made here with this device. So typically, this is, uh, I think, we use a 10% PMMS solution to make these fibers. Yeah. So these are well below one micron diameter range as you can see. So now that I have given a demo, I will also show you how to turn off the machine. First, I am going to stop the flow of the sample. Then I am going to reduce the rotation of the rotational speed of the collector back to zero and then turn it off. Now the voltage is still at 12.5. I slowly have to reduce it back to its lowest value, 0 or 0.1, whichever it stays at. So yeah, it will, it is at the lowest turning point now and the value is not at 0 but it is at 0 0.2, we can switch it off. Then we are going to turn HV off and now we are going to open the chamber. Firstly we are going to remove the cable from the syringe. Then just going to put the cap on. Yeah. Then we are going to carefully remove the sample from the collector. Now this is a, just a demo sample, so I'm not really going to exercise much caution here. But yeah, since the fibers are mostly very delicate, so it's important to handle them very carefully. final step is to clean the machine after use because we typically apply a high voltage between the collector and the source because of the inten I mean the strength of the electric field a lot of fibers get deposited inside the chamber everywhere in the ceiling in the sides so it's important to keep the machine clean after use so that no contamination can occur in the future Okay. 
so we mostly done here now i'm just going to turn the light off and then power it off so that's a complete demo of the electro spinning process